Hello, hello my crafty friend. We are back with more Cricut Design Space tutorials. Our tutorials that's based on our best-selling book, which is the Cricut Design Space tutorial style book where you can find all of these tutorials in beautiful written and screenshot step-by-steps. So have a look in the description below for this link, but for today, let's jump straight into this video. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our next tutorial in our Cricut Design Space series. And today I wanted to show you how to find all of the free goodies. So we all love free goodies. And if you've been following along with our series, you would have subscribed to Cricut Access Trial to try it out. Some of you though might have already used the trial and now you're wondering if I cancel out, how do I find the free stuff that's available on Cricut Design Space? And so that's what this video is all about. So if you have our incredibly beautiful handy book on the complete guide on Cricut Design Space, we're going to look at page 11 and page 12 in this video. So number one, let's quickly just talk about what's going on on Cricut Design Space. If you do not have access, right? You will need to pay for things. So if I love the look of this project here and I click on that, it's going to tell me how much it's going to cost me to make. So it's going to cost me $1.49 to make this project unless I'm subscribed to Cricut Access, then it's free, right? So you will find prices on things if you're not subscribed. So I'm going to go to new project here because the first thing we want to find is images that's for free. So I've clicked on images and now what I need to do is to find the free ones. And to do that, we're going to have to do a bit of filtering, right? So number one, you can see here that we've got this option to click on free this week because they change things up quite a fair bit. So sometimes things are free and then they take them away and other things are free. So you might not see this when you're watching this video, but that's okay. So all of these are free for us this week as a little bit of a bonus. So it says free here on the bottom and it's really easy to find them that way. Now, if we didn't click on that, right, but we knew we wanted to find a butterfly for a project, right, you're going to see quite a lot of butterflies come up and I can instantly with the eye just see which of these are free and some of these comes up with dollar values. But they're all mixed up and it can get quite confusing to try and figure out what's what. So in order to be able to filter these, right, what we're going to do is move over to the left hand side here and we're going to click on ownership and here we have the option to select the free ones. So it's as simple as that. Now we've got 15 butterflies that are available free for us to use in our projects. And that's not, oh, there's a little butterfly in his nose. I think the search function in Cricut Design Space is really not the best, but anyway. So that's how you find your free images. So let's have a look at free patterns next. So I'm gonna click on cancel. Now you can put patterns on things. So I'm just gonna pop a square in here for the sake of an example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top where it says fill and I'm going to choose print. So you can't cut patterns. You can print them out and make them into um, printed images or stickers or die cuts or anything like that. So from here, what I can do is to click on this gray button and now I can click on pattern and a bunch of patterns are going to come up. So essentially I can choose these and it's going to put that over my square. And then we can pop that on. So all of the ones that comes up here in this pattern section is free. And you can also upload your own patterns to use as well. So you have that ability, you have the ability to edit them as well, but we'll look at that sort of stuff in a later video. So free patterns up here, free images in here, um, via the filter search option. Then if we have a look at page 12, we also need to look at fonts. Fonts live in your text section. So click on text. Let's type something. So click on the word, right? And it's going to open up a whole entire menu that's just for working with fonts. So your font is here quickly. Currently we're using Cricut Sans which I actually don't mind that font very much. And here we are now looking at a lot of different fonts. 
and you'll see that some of these are quite pricey. So if you want to use this font, it's going to cost you $7.99. So they're not cheap. If you want to use a font, as you can see, paying for the subscription to the Cricut Access just makes so much more sense. Um, but luckily, we can also upload our own fonts, and that way we can use free ones. So unfortunately, there is no easy way here to find all of the free fonts. So you would need to search and scroll through all of these. And ultimately, if it doesn't have a price, it's free. So this one here, um, although that's probably on my system. So there won't be a lot of free ones if you're on Cricut. But if you find any that doesn't have a price on it, it will be free. Cricut Sons is usually free. Where is Cricut Sons? Let's see if we can find it so you can see what it looks like. Search. So there we go. So this one doesn't have a price, which means that you can use it for free. Now, the biggest trick that I have for you is just to use fonts that's already on your, on your computer, on your desktop. So use the ones that's on your PC or your Mac. And that's called system fonts because it lives on your system. It lives on your PC system or your Mac system. So these are all of the fonts that I have on my laptop. And I have a lot of fonts because I love fonts very, very much. And of course, they're all free. So then I don't have to worry about anything. And that's usually what I use is my system fonts. It's actually very rare for me to use the Cricut fonts anyways. So that's how you find free fonts on Cricut Design Space. And then lastly, we want to look at free projects. So projects are here on the left hand side i'm going to click on that and it will open up all of your projects now what we want to do is to go to the category drop down menu and here you can find your free projects so i am currently using the explorer machine and so therefore i've got four different categories here that i can find free projects from which is really really cool so all of these things will be free for me as an Explore Ed2 user. Now these change depending on what machine you have. So if I switch over to my Cricut Maker, I can't use those ones for free, but I'll have a different section of free for Cricut Maker. And then I've got the free for everybody section as well. So that's how you find your free project. So I hope that's been really, really helpful. These chop and change occasionally. So do make sure to go and check them out on a regular basis. And then you can have a little bit of a play with some new projects, which is always loads and loads and loads of fun. All right, that's it for today. I will see you again in the next video for Cricut Design Space Tutorials. I hope you're loving these as much as I am. See you soon. Bye.